Hello, 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 everyone. I'm so impressed with you guys. You have joined the challenge. Many of you, a lot of folks have joined the program, joined the challenge, the free 30 days sock challenge program. And I'm so impressed by looking at the way you guys are finishing up, wrapping up the challenges as well, whether it's day one, day two, day three. It's fabulous. Make sure you introduce yourself once you join the challenge. You can also join the cyber range applications where you can help others for if they get stuck somewhere, okay? Make sure when you complete the challenge, take a snapshot and share on the specific channel only. And also write what did you learn? What was your observation, sorry, first? And second, what did you learn from this challenge or from this lab, all right? So let's go to the challenge four, I um, mean the day four. Day four is about log analysis basics on Linux machine. We have we have to detect a network based attack using UFW, which is a Linux based firewall. The full form is uncomplicated firewall, if I'm not wrong. So our 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 approach would be to set up our goal would be to set up a Kali machine or an attacker machine and a victim machine. And we want to launch, we will be launching an attack. Uh, probably a scanning probe from our Kali Linux. You can see on my left, I have a Kali Linux machine. And my right, I have a Ubuntu machine. You can see by doing uname or uname minus A, that you will get the idea about the victim machine. You can use this, you can launch this machine by using Walter, Linode or Cloud Instance, or maybe simplest, you can use the virtual box on VMware and turn up a VMware machine there itself, right? You can take the SSH actions access to it machine. Now, let me tell you about the lab setup. First of all, and remember one thing, make sure you subscribe the channel so that you can get notified about the new videos in this series, okay? Um, those who haven't got the access to the challenge yet, those who have done the registration but still not getting the Discord server link, they can DM me on my LinkedIn profile. I'll share you the link of my LinkedIn profile. You can reach out to me and ask me for the Discord server. If you have registered, if you have confirmed the registration and you still didn't get the uh, Discord server, okay? Um, you have an attacker machine, it's all good. You have target machine, which is Ubuntu. We are all good here. Uh, what is the target uh, port scan? First of all, uh, network scan basically it's it's a, any scanning probe that happen on to the network layer so i can run a probe let's say i have a kali linux machine here right this is my kali linux kali linux machine and this is my victim machine okay uh, as an attacker as a part of it, ethical hacking or maybe an you know hacking itself maybe malicious a hacking activity or pen testing or even if you follow cyber kill chain or mitre attack framework the first thing that start with is the reconnaissance or scanning okay this is where you try to understand what are the ports open on the victim side or what are the different service or these service version software version running on the target machine or the victim machine to identify the vulnerabilities right so for this the very popular tool is called nmap Okay, and map is the network probing tool, uh, network topology tool or whatever it is, but you can use it for multiple reasons. Okay, and map with and map, you can, uh, it's a network mapper, but it's an open source. You can discover host, you can find out the open ports, you can find out different running services, operating system and everything, right? Now, these are, as you can see, these are different types of uh, port scan that you can run, sin scan, I can, talk about that in detail in any any separate video but for now just understand most of the time attacker run this in scan because it is fast it, it is stealthy it's an incomplete session it's kind of half open session attack so attacker mostly go for sin scan you, they can go for tcp scan but it is less stealthy because this completes the session and if there is no message inside uh, it did firewalls, the next generation firewall especially detect it as uh, suspicious traffic and they drop it. The IDS IPS solution drop it, okay? So these are different types of scan and this is the filter. So I can use the N command like nmap minus S belongs to scan and capital S belongs to sin scan. Similarly, small s belongs to scan, type of scan and capital T belongs to 
uh, TCP connect scan. All right. So I hope this you got the idea. Now let's talk about the detection quickly. Uh, when's the, when, when, when the attacker launched the attack, this is the Kali. Okay. And you have a victim machine here, right? So when the attacker is launching a scanning probe, uh, you can actually drop all those requests by creating a firewall rule with a very simple solution called UFW, uncomplicated firewall. And with this, you can create a rule maybe to allow or drop a certain traffic. Okay, this is what we are going to do. And we are going to look at the traffic as well. We are going to detect those attack attempt as well, which is and to detect those traffic. We will be looking at the UFW log, which is usually stored in slash where slash log slash UFW dot log. Please remember this log, uh, log file name. Okay, so let's quickly jump to our further activity. I think we covered about popular scan types. The logs are stored in the UFW. Uh, I'll tell you about the installation process as well. But remember this, this is the syntax. You can use the UFW allow to allow a rule to deny to drop a traffic and everything. Let's start with the attack simulation first. You need to have a IP address of your Kali Linux, which is most likely this. Or you can also verify by if config. Oh, that's not the, that's my IP address, sorry. So this is your IP address. You can verify by if config. So you will get this. This is the attacker IP address. And you can run the if config here. This is the victim IP address, okay? So on the attacker machine, um, I'll have to run an attack, a probing. I'm, I'm saying an attack, but it's not technically an attack. It's a scanning probe, okay? So I'll be, my goal is to find out if the port 80 is open on the target machine. And by default, remember, it uses the SYN scan. So I don't have to specify like S capital S. By default, Nmap uses SYN scan. In case in your system, it's not installed, you can run the APT install Nmap. Uh, by default, when you install Kali Linux, it is by default install. In case you are installing from any other sources, make sure you run this command. Okay. Um, once this is done, you can run the nmap minus p. Sorry, nmap space minus p. Then specify the port number HTTP, and then the target uh, or the victim machine IP address. So I'll mention this here. Now, usually it starts with the ICMP probe initially. So before the NMAP launch the attack, it uh, first try to see if the machine is live or not. Okay. So to make sure you bypass that uh, ICMP traffic, you can also run the minus P minus capital P small n. Okay. That's the option we have. Let's come to the victim machine. We'll launch the attack uh, once the machine is ready. Okay. So. All right, so let's come to our uh, 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 victim machine. And in here, make sure the UFW is already being installed. You can, if it is not, you can also verify by running UFW or maybe uh, you can run the sudo UFW version. This will show you the UFW version into the machine. But if it is not, you can run the apt install UFW command. In my case, I'm already on root, so I won't be keep running the uh, sudo every time but in your case it may be required so i just just my habit okay so uh, then make sure ufw is enabled as well so you can run the ufw enable enter the command uh, in my case it's already being installed so i can skip this okay so now let's uh, make sure the logging in is, is enabled so run the ufw logging enable on and this will say logging enable uh, you can also enable logging high. So this will make sure all the high level log by default, low level logs are enabled. So you can enable all of them. Then in order to detect the traffic, okay, uh, we want to make sure all the HTTP traffic scanning probe is dropped. All the HTTP access to this server will be dropped. Usually if it's a web server, you are not going to do, you are not going to do that, but I'm going to use a specific IP address in here. You can see this. So that's why I mentioned that 69, 62, 84, 69, right? And this is the IP address of my Kali Linux. You can also see that 69, 62, 84, 69. You see this? Perfect. Now what I can do is I can create a rule 
in here and once you do that the simpler most simplest way to create a rule is ufw allow 22 or tcp slash 22 or 80 or for certain protocol popular protocol you can also type your the protocol name like http right or you can run 22 slash tcp for allowing this traffic or maybe if you want if you want to drop or deny so you can write a ufw deny and that right that rule name that's the most simple simple way to create a rule to uh, to allow or drop a traffic you can once the rule is created you can also see those rule by ufw sorry you have W status. Let me maximize this a little so that you can see it. Yeah, you have W status. You can see this. I just have this rules are by default enabled. Port 22 from anywhere. Port 22 for IPv6 from anywhere. You, I have just created this rule. So once you enter this, this rule, UFW, this says that deny traffic from this IP address. You see this from this IP address, deny. Okay, that's the action to any port. Uh, I mean, to from any port to port 80. You see this to port 80 on protocol TCP. Okay, on protocol TCP. Perfect. If I have to allow this from everywhere, what, what can I do? That's a test, right? So, okay, time is up. Let let me do that myself. I'll I, what I'll do is I'll basically allow this by UFW allow, and I can say port eighty slash TCP. Just because I have an IP address, I'll be extending this this way. UFW then the action in my case it's allow. I can say deny from IP address. So I just have to make sure I specify the IP address right. So it's UFW deny from and the IP address which is. In my case, it's this, right? And then I specify the port number. You can see from any to this port number, which is 80, or which works on protocol TCP. That's it. So once it is there, you can finally see the rule. You can see this. The rule has been created. I won't do that again, but let's launch the attack in here. So I'll, I will launch the attack. Let me disable the ICMP as well, and I'll show you how, how it is different, right? And uh, usually all the detection logs, all the UFW related logs are stored in the slash where slash log. Under this, you will find a log file name UFW.log, which is here, right? So I can run the tell minus F to get the live stream of the logs. You can see this. This is the live stream of all the logs, which is getting dropped. Okay, or maybe getting allowed. So I, I can also filter it out by a specific IP address. So to make my life easier, so I'll mention that and get the IP address of the attacker machine, which is Kali machine. Let's hit enter. Let's launch the attack. I mean scan. I'm keep saying this attack, but it says scan basically. You see this? We got some log in here. Yes, perfect. Can you see this? This is what you have to take a snapshot of and share on the group chat uh, on the Discord server. Uh, the scan is complete. You can see if it is really up, but blocking on the ping pro because usually start with the ping and it says you can try minus PN because, uh, you know, because first start with the ping and we might we have disabled the ping ICMP traffic. So that's the reason it is happening. Okay. And uh, let me stop this. All right, so let's analyze the log, UFW log here. You can see the UFW log for the attacker IP address. You can see the first log itself, and which is from the source IP address this. We also have some UFW block traffic as well. You can see, let's analyze the first one, which is from source IP address, which is attacker IP address, then destination IP address, which is our own victim IP address. And on protocol, TCP source port, which is random. You see the SPT, which is source port, which is random. Destination port is 80. And you have some more traffic as well. Some of the traffic is also ICMP because ICMP echo request is blocked. ICMP traffic itself is blocked on the server. So you also see some ICMP, ICMP traffic coming in as well, right? So this completes our day four challenge. You can take a snapshot share what you have observed what you have learned as well on the channel i would love to catch you up thank you